Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss, are you procrastinating to learn data science? Now, I'm going to share you a recent story with one of my subscriber. And procrastinating this term, first of all, I'll make you understand what exactly it is, okay? So this term basically says that you're just delaying some work for some unnecessary reasons, you know? Probably to today you have planned to do a specific work, but due to something, you're just postponing it to tomorrow. In simple words, I can just say like this, okay? So I'm going to share you a recent story, okay, which says that, and procrastinating happens with respect to uh, learning. It may be happen with respect to doing any kind of work, you know? You may, you, you're just delaying it, you know? You're de delaying that entire process. And what will happen with this? You'll definitely not be efficient, you know? There will be so many people who do not procrastinate their work and they are very much successful. So let me tell you a very good story with respect to one of my subscriber. So two weeks back, uh, one of the person, he pinged me in the Telegram channel. He was really, really frustrated. He was actually demotivated. And he told that Krish, I was preparing for this, this exams. And probably now I'm coming back to the IT industry. I'm planning to coming, coming back to the IT industry itself. So I have planned to actually study data science. Then I tell, okay, it's amazing. Uh, what you have actually thought uh, it is a very good industry altogether so what i did is that i actually sent him that same tracker sheet which i actually uploaded a video past uh, one week back itself and i told him that okay you use this tracker sheet try to complete the entire course from my playlist itself you know whatever is basically there and initially first of all you really need to understand if you are getting into data science you know are you able to find this particular technology interesting Okay, and definitely you can just go and learn some of, see some of my videos and definitely you can make a decision over there. So first day he was pretty much happy with the response. He took the tracker sheet, he was ready and he started learning. Now, first day he saw the first and second video, then he again pinged me back. He said that Krish, yes, it looks good. It looks amazing. This is what I really want to do. The work is quite interesting over here. I have understood what all things we can actually do in the future also. And I said, well, that's amazing. So start the learning process, don't wait for anything else. Now, after one week, you know, I again contacted him and I just said that, so how is your preparation going on? Then over there, he just said that, uh, no, Krish, I have not even started uh, because I'm still searching for different, different certification. I'm searching for this, I'm searching for that. I'm searching for a proper plan structure, whereas I've actually given him the proper plan structure. So unnecessary different, different reasons. Then again, after two days, again, I start, asked him, did you start learning? Then he said, no. Now what actually is basically happening, you know? And I, apart from that, I also said that, are you doing anything important other than that? He said, no. Now in short, he's actually procrastinating to learn data science. I again had a conversation with him saying that, what is the main problem? So he's just saying that I'm not able to build up the confidence. I'm not able to focus. I'm not able to do something. Then again, I tried to explain him. Start with it at least. You know, you just start with it. You, you just try to devote at least one or two hours daily. Time management is very much important. If you're procrastinating your work, you're delaying your work for some other purpose, which is not a proper way to basically just postpone your work. It is not necessary, right? Because you're not doing something important. Then why not you just try to devote? And obviously, guys, the best way to pro not procrastinate anything is that Please make, sure a please make sure a schedule for yourself. Always you have to prioritize your work. Then only it will be possible. I, when I was uploading videos in YouTube channel, I had a target that within two years, I'll try to upload thousand plus videos. And now you see that if you go and check out my channel today, there are more than 1200 videos now. I have achieved that particular target. I was just think if I would have always kept in my mind, no, to not today, let's do it tomorrow. Let's postpone it, you know, let's postpone uploading things, right? So here, what I'm actually doing, even I was actually having a full-time job, guys. That time also, I was at least targeting one video daily. Nowadays, I target two to three videos. Just understand this. So you have to focus on your time management things. And are you procrastinating to learn data science? If you have some plan, if you know data science can do some of the things, why don't you devote some time? Why don't you jump over there? Forget about certification, forget about the salary or job that you'll get. First of all, try to understand data science in a proper way. Bring that particular interest, okay? Why people procrastinate 
you know for some of the tasks because they just give up for that particular work they feel that okay this is not going to help me in the for in the future and this if you really want to overcome with respect to learning data science i would suggest learn every day guys learn every day then only you'll be able to understand the importance sometimes i'm telling you guys unless and until you don't devote some time you'll not be able to understand the importance of something once you are able to do it continuously once and just do it for one month i'm telling you guys just do it for one month if you are able to devote around 2 to 3 hours daily and if you have kept that as a practice every day after one or two months it will become a practice itself for you you i think you have heard of that 21 days practice right if you are able to do the same task every day for 21 days that's become a habit for you in the upcoming new days you know so you don't have to worry about it you have to just make it as a practice and don't think okay we'll not do it tomorrow we'll do it to sorry we'll not do it today we'll do it tomorrow then again tomorrow you'll be thinking no no let's let's postpone it that's it for running a company also this is very much important for a ceo person who is actually leading the company also they never procrastinate their work they just say that okay this is the work let's complete it right and nowadays also if i have a task i definitely first of all complete that task it may be personal task it may be a professional task it may be any kind of task if anything is pending from my side guys i always try to finish it as early as possible i don't say that okay let's wait till tomorrow let's wait till day after tomorrow that is the strategy that i have actually do and nowadays i'm not using data science for professional work i'm also doing it for my personal work personal work basically means i'm handling my expenses with all the analytic stuff that is present in this mind with all the stats that i have learned i'm i'm actually handling my expenses i'm handling different different things and i'm actually using the analytics things in my personal work also apart from professional apart from the use case that we are solving apart from youtube channel apart from many things as such you know this motivates me this motivates me to do more and i'm telling you guys if you still think and i've seen some people okay they just invest more time in which certification i should do okay how much materials i should collect you know in college i think uh, before going for the exams you know what a person used to do he used to go and roam around all the friends and he used to say you have this particular material i'll go and xerox it he'll keep that xerox with him he'll keep that xerox and he'll just stuff all the materials and while the exam is very much near he'll not even study it properly right so my suggestion is with that instead of collecting everything i have already given you a tracker sheet i have given you each and every playlist i have given you which all videos to see when everything is given to you just go through it and once you understand the importance how quick how easy how beautiful data science is i think you will not be asking your question that which certification i should do whether i'll be able to get jobs also or not how much hours i have to invest <laughs> because a person i have seen investing around 5 to 6 hours daily also If with with this full time job i'm telling you right now it is work from home right so this was it from my side guys i hope you like this particular video please make sure that you subscribe the channel press the bell notification icon i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye